What's up? Just in the Outdoors here, and we are gonna try a recipe that we've been wanting to try for a really long time this week. It's gonna take a couple of days to prep, so I'm just getting started, but we are going to do some smoked speckled trout. Now we've done this before a few times with rainbow trout, and it tastes so good, but obviously down here on the coast, you know, you're not gonna catch a whole lot of rainbow trout. So we wanted to try it with speckled trout to see if that was something we could do if we ever run out of rainbow trout. Um, it's kind of a delicacy around here. Um, so we're gonna try it today, yeah. And we're gonna use the smoked trout recipe from Mr. Steve Ranella's book, The Meat Eater. It's, like I said, it's been fantastic and so good with our rainbow trout, but we've been curious about trying it a little bit different. Um, so, you know, with the rainbow trout, you have to start with the brine, and you're gonna put it in a container that's big enough to submerge your trout in, as obviously these are quite a bit bigger. I'm going to be using oh, a cooler today. Yeah. And instead of just shoving ice in there, we have those little Arctic cool packs that we're gonna stick in there with the fish to help keep them cold as they sit overnight. This is the first time we've ever done this, and no guarantee that it's actually gonna work or taste good, but we're excited to try something new. So yeah, let's go ahead and get that brine prepared. Okay, first let's make the brine. So we're gonna start by combining, let's see, kosher salt, granulated sugar, brown sugar, ooh, and honey and water. Okay, so let's start. See, I'm gonna try doubling that recipe first and see if that's enough to cover the trout. We'll see. Okay. Half and a half of salt. Okay. The humidity down here, y'all, it's been crazy. All the salt was sticking together and it took forever to finally get that salt out. <sighs> All right, you know what? That's close enough, most of a cup. granulated sugar, so we're gonna do one full cup. Mm -hmm. This one should be easier. All right, that's about one cup. calls for one fourth cup of brown sugar, but we're gonna do half a cup. Packed sugar, brown sugar. Some kind of sugar, right? Yeah. Smells amazing. <laughs> well, that was just a satisfying little plop. Okay, and then last, oh, a half cup of honey. <laughs> I'm just gonna stand here and squeeze. All right. <laughs> there we go. I don't like to waste anything. I'm gonna grab a spoon and just scoop the rest of that out. All right. Eight cups of lukewarm water. Well, that's a lot of cups of water. All right, move the book so I don't get wet. Okay. Add some 
water. So I'm just whisking it around until we get all of the ingredients to dissolve. Add just a little bit more water to help that finish dissolving. All right, last thing before we take a little break, um, since I obviously can't put this in the refrigerator, I have a little ice pack I'm gonna just stick in there to kind of help keep it cool and chill it just a little bit until it's time to throw the fish in, which should be, well, let's see, what time is it? 9.15, I'll probably wait and put it in a little bit closer to noon just so they're not sitting in the brine for so long, um, but so that they can <clears throat> get a good chance to soak overnight. So, all right. One step closer, yay. All right, y'all, it's been about an hour, so our brine should be plenty chilled. Um, so let's do this, let's put the fish in there. I really hope that they fit. I guess we'll find out. So first thing I'm gonna do is of course, take them out of the bag, rinse them off, make sure they're all, I guess, clean. Um, and then I'll put them in there. We have those big Arctic uh, like freezer block. So I'll put a couple in there and I'll probably switch them out kind of throughout the day before we go to bed tonight. Um, and then we'll probably take them out first thing in the morning so they can rest a little bit in the refrigerator. Yeah. Here goes nothing, right? <laughs> add a plate to set in there just so that they'll sink and yeah this is so gonna work in here we have the fish in the bottom I put a plate down there to help hold them down although these big ice blocks would have probably sufficed so I'm going to close it and then try to check it pretty frequently just to make sure that they're staying cold and we'll check in in a while Good morning. It is day two of our speckled trout smoking extravaganza here. And it's now time to remove them from the cooler and the brine. And then we're gonna put them in the refrigerator for a few hours on this lovely foil covered cookie sheet um, after patting them dry so that they can become tacky. And then this afternoon, we're finally gonna get to put them in the smoker. So. Let's go ahead and get that taken care of and then we'll check back in in a few hours. the Traeger and we're gonna throw these puppies in the smoker. Yes. All right we are officially at temperature so I'm gonna go ahead and put them on the Traeger for we'll start with three hours kind of check them and see how they're doing and then just go from there. I'm expecting probably closer to Four, though just based on some of the rainbows that we've done in the past so here goes everything I guess two 
going to attempt to flip them now, as long as they're not sticking to the mat. So let's go take a look. Here, Court is preparing some garlic butter with a little bit of minced garlic and rosemary topped with butter, which we will then put in the smoker. Yum! already tried it and it's told me that it's good it's very different so here we go Try the butter sauce too. I'm like thinking about it it is good it is good it's different it, and you're right you can like you can taste the salt saltier than rainbow trout for sure yeah, and you're right, I don't think it's like a fishier taste, but I don't know what it is. Oh, that butter sauce is good. Yeah. Butter sauce makes a it makes a big difference, yeah. It's almost like flakier. Yeah. And it's a te I think it's more of a texture thing than a taste thing. The taste itself is similar other than kind of the buttery or the salty part, but it is good. I would do it again. What do you think? I would do it again. All right then. Well, there you go. Was not a total failure, y'all. That would have been sad. So, smoke speckled trout is a go. Thanks for tuning in, and I'm sure we'll be making some other crazy recipes coming up here soon. So, catch y'all later. Bye. Imagine this brine, like if you were into that kind of thing, by itself would be extremely sweet. And then you'd have that weird salt. <laughs>